Welcome to the We On podcast. Okay, get this. Mars is uh, still throwing up some really interesting stuff. Absolutely. Constant surprises. Yeah. So recently, the Curiosity rover, it found these really unusual shapes in Gale Crater. The hexagonal ones? Yeah, I saw those images. They look almost like, well... Honeycombs. Or, or even waffles kind of spread across the surface. Exactly. Like fractures, but incredibly well-preserved geometric fractures. So not just random cracks then. There's a definite pattern here. A very clear pattern. And, you know, scientists are looking very closely because these might actually tell us something profound. Profound like mm. about early Mars, maybe even about um, life. Potentially, yes. The thinking is these structures could hold clues about how life might have gotten started there billions of years ago. Wow. Okay, so how do we figure that out from some cracks, even patterned ones? Well, Curiosity is right there analyzing them. It's looking at the uh, the chemical makeup. Right, what they're actually made of. Exactly. The composition is key to understanding how they formed. What was the environment like? And we think they're pretty ancient, don't we? How old are we talking? Estimates put them around 3.6 to 3.8 billion years old. Really ancient. Billion, okay. And the look of them, these honeycombs, does that remind us of anything on Earth? It does, actually. Very similar patterns show up in places like dried up lake beds here or areas hit hard by drought. Ah, so su suggesting Mars had similar cycles, wet periods then dry periods. That's the strong implication. These repeated wet dry cycles on Earth, we think those are really important. Important how? For potentially concentrating and organizing the basic chemical building blocks needed for life. Organic molecules, you know. Okay, got it. So the cracking itself just from drying out or something else? Good question. It could be desiccation, just the ground drying and cracking as Mars lost its water. But er, later groundwater movement might have played a role too. Still investigating that part. And Curiosity has tools for this. You mentioned analysis. Yeah, it's using a technique called Libsys laser-induced breakdown spectroscopy. Sounds fancy. Zapping rocks with lasers. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. It fires a laser, vaporizes a tiny spot, and reads the light signature to see what elements are there. Without needing a sample return. Clever. Right. And this isn't the first time we've seen shapes like this in Gale Crater. No. Back in 2021, similar polygons were spotted near Mount Sharp, also thought to be from a dried lake. And did they analyze those too? They did. And interestingly, they found sulfates associated with those older cracks. Sulfates. Meaning what? It strongly supports that idea of repeated wet and dry cycles. Water dissolving minerals, then evaporating, leaving sulfates behind maybe over and over. And are they finding sulfates in these new honeycomb cracks too? Seems like it, yes. Which really strengthens the case for that kind of environment existing back then. It's amazing what geology can tell us. And uh, are other missions seeing similar things? Yes, actually. Just last year, China's Zerong rover detected large honeycomb structures too. But these were deep underground. Underground, wow. So this kind of structure might be like all over Mars. It certainly suggests they could be quite widespread, <laughs> not just a surface feature in one crater. Makes you wonder what else is hiding just beneath that red <laughs> dust, doesn't it? <laughs> well, definitely stay tuned for more such intriguing stories to come.